You know, we love it up for debate because we love to stir the pot. Alexis lives for the chaos. Mm -hmm. Fred likes to sit here and question why he's doing this. (laughs) And uh, here we go. Alexis, you tackled what area is of most concern for the Minnesota Wild, whether that's offense, defense or goaltending. Why don't you kick it off? What area are you most worried about heading into uh, opening night (laughs) on Friday? For me, it is a tie and I feel even weird saying this, a tie between defense and goaltending. Um defense only because that ha- saw the most turnover this offseason, so it's an obvious one to to look at and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm concerned about this because we're missing some big pieces and have a lot of new pieces in place." So it's even if you were to get like it loaded up with superstars, like still it's like, "Okay, there's a lot of turnover there, so you never know how it's going to play out." So I am concerned about that, but at the same time, I know there's a lot of good guys uh, on that blue line that have been here done that. And I I'm confident we'll lead the way, um, for some of the new guys and some of the new guys who are veterans, who've also been, been here before, even though it's their first time with Minnesota. So, um, that would probably be my biggest area of concern. Goaltending is a very close second for me. Um, not cam Talbot it's Kacken. And I'm a little bit worried about only because, uh, he was very polarizing with his play last year. He had that streak, uh, where he was very impressive. I think he had nine or 10 wins in a row, which was a rookie record. Um, and you know, he stepped up when the wild needed him to. And then at the end of the season, he fell off the wagon a little bit, was not looking good. Um, you know, had some really, really tough games and then the season ended and you're like, okay, so is he, is he, is he ready or is he not ready? Like, where are we sitting with him? Because he had a stretch of good and a stretch of bad. Um, and it is hard to really judge uh, backup net minders because they obviously don't get as much playing time as, as, uh, anybody else on the team. So, um, that's where I have a little bit of concern where I'm like, okay, if we get the version of Kacken and we got early on in the season, I, I think our tandem is set. I'm comfortable with what we have. Um, and I would trust Kakanen to come in and, and fill that role when Talbot, uh, either can't play or, uh, they need to switch him out, get him some rest. Um, so goaltending is a very close second concern to me uh, for the first time. And I think forever, I'm very confident the wild will be good offensively again. Um, I think they're going to be, you know, you talked about their speed early on Jesse um, and, and how they're only getting faster. Um, I think they're finding a better fit for the lines here. And so I'm really excited about what the offense is going to do. So yeah, for me, defense is the biggest area of concern just because there's so many unknowns with the defense heading into the season. You know, I don't disagree, but for the sake of arguing and debating, right, that's what we should do. I would actually maybe nudge goaltending up first. And I kind of hate to do that because I do think that the tandem of Cam Talbot and Kapo Kakinen is one of the stronger tandems mm-hmm. the Minnesota Wild have had in quite some time. But as you had mentioned, Kakinen had a, a stellar start of a rookie year and yep. he certainly stepped up and I don't want to put all of this on him, but how, what, what is the Kakinen that you're going to get? And what is the cam Talbot that you're going to get? Cause was last season kind of more of a one-off. I, you know, I don't have the full confidence in that maybe, oh, right? Like, you may, I'm, oh, I'm getting mad. Don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. No, I, we finally think we get the goalie thing figured out. And then they both just come <laughs> in and they're like, psych, we suck. You can never have the goalie thing figured out. Right. <laughs> it's just so, but yeah, I mean, so I'll nudge that up to number one defense. Yeah. Being number two, a very close second for me. Um, but it's been more promising than I've, I've thought seeing them in preseason, seeing the pairings. Um, I think Kulikov is, is much better than I thought he was going to be. So I really enjoy watching that um, Goligoski about par, but I love the way that he pairs with, with Jared Spurgeon. I think that's a very top. And then, you know what you're going to get out of Broads and Dumba. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, that still remains kind of the biggest question mark. We talked about Jordy been bad. I still love it. It's, it's so clever. Um, but I, <laughs> I yeah I love when Jesse comes up with something good and she's so proud of herself and she just keeps and everyone it. else is like eh, that's fine I Mostly love, my we, husband. we love yeah, self-confidence it shuts <laughs> we are here to support you do it. it was a great bit I know um but yeah and then offense I do I think yes people could argue that okay up the middle what are we doing there is it really you know because you have one top line should you be spreading that wealth out right like should you be doing more to have the offense but I like the direction it's going and I like what I've seen so far. It is a quicker team. It's a team that has a bunch of players. That's not afraid that are not afraid to shoot, which I freaking love like five years of covering a very defensive Minnesota wild squad yeah. and two to one games. I can't do it anymore. I cannot do 41 games of yeah. that anymore. So I'm happy to see that you finally have some shooters. You have people that are capable of shooting. Not only right. are they not afraid to shoot, they can do it. They can finish up and, and down by the net too. So that would be my third uh, friend. What do you think? I think they just need to keep the offensive juggernaut going because it always seems like there's like the stops and starts throughout the season. It's like they're really, really hot. And then all of a sudden just gets shut down. And obviously good goaltending can do that. But if they can have consistent offense, 
with Cam Talbot back there being consistent in the crease, I think that's a winning combo. That was good, Fred. Proud of you. Did you practice that, Fred? That was really nice. No, where, where, you got some race cards over there? Crease, yeah. I'm just <laughs> so proud. <laughs>